Okay. So far, we have looked at we have looked at the we have been looking at asset replacement decision, and we have looked at the cash flows in terms of we actually started looking at the decision. Then we look at the cash flow requirements. We look at the key metrics, which is the equivalent annual cost, and then the lowest common multiple. So we talk about the equivalent annual cost method, the formula decisions, and then we also discuss the least common multiple method. We now started looking at our question, uh, which is the practice question two, which deals with the two methods. So far, we have looked at the first method, which is the equivalent annual cost method. We got to know that under each of the cycles, you need to consider the cost, the running cost, and then the scrap value. You have to determine the present value factor to arrive at the PVs, and also determine the annuity factor. Divide the PVs over the annuity factor to arrive at the equivalent annual cost method. The decision to arrive, we arrive at is the, the options, that is the cycle options that has the lowest of cost, low, or lowest of equivalent annual cost. So that is so far where we have gotten to. All right, so from here, we want to consider the least common multiple method, least common multiple method. All right, so this is the, IAC method. All right. So now let's look at the LCM method, least common multiple method. All right. So the information requirements is the same. So we have to get our information requirements or information here. All right. So now that we have our information, we now proceed to dealing with the B aspect of the question, which is the II aspect of the question. So we are looking at the LCM method, LCM method. All right, so under the LCM method, we would have to determine the cycles. In the question, we are told that the, the machine has a lifespan of um, three years, and the respective cycles are one, two, and three. So if you want to determine the, the LCM, we know that the LCM will be uh, six. So LCM, LCM will be equal to six. Yes. Which is, so we are going to have these cycles. We will have the cycle of uh, one by six. So one times six cycle. We are going to have one by six cycle. We are going to have um, two by three cycle. So two by three cycle. Two by three year cycle. Mm -hmm. 
Then finally, we're going to have three by two cycle, three by two cycle, which is, and then we're going to have um, three by two cycle, three by two cycle. All right, so this is our LCM. So if you multiply one by six, you give us six, two by three, you give us six, and then also three by two also give us six. So our LCM will be six, and these are the cycles that we are going to have. One by six cycle, two by three cycle, and then also we are going to have three by two cycle. So all of them will give us six years. All right. So on that note, let us consider our one by six cycle. So one by six, one by six cycle, one by six cycle. All right. So one by six cycle, we will have the same narrations like we had here. So we will have the same thing like this as we had. So this is LCM, LCM, and we are having one by six cycle. All right. So for one by six cycle, we have zero. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six, because we are having six years cycle. All right. So that's the time. Then we now have the, uh, so this is the time. Then we're going to have the maintenance. Okay, let me move this one down here so that we can have enough space to do that. Let me move it by one. So here should be time or year. And the details here, we are looking at, we are looking at, for example, the, the purchase cost. We are looking at the purchase cost here. Then we'll look at the next one, which is the, um, the maintenance and running cost. So we have maintenance cost slash running cost. So we can wrap this one here. All right. Then we now have the scrap value or residual value. Residual value. Then when we are done with the residual value, we can now have our um, net cash flow. So net. cash flows all right so let me All right, so now that we have this one, we now will consider the respective issues. So how, how we are talking about SEM of um, six, 
the purchase cost. What we are going to do is that for one year cycle, we are going to have a purchase cost of six times, running cost of six times, residual value of six times, and then we will now sum up to get our net cash flow. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So, but the purchase cost, we are looking at it from year one, and year one, it is 17 million. So here, 17 million, which is negative, already is negative. So you put it into bracket, 17 million, and you do it up to year five, because it starts from year zero. Purchase start from year zero, so you do it up to year five. So down to year five, here. Then you now running cost start from year one. So since it is year one cycle, we will pick the 1.8. Are we fine? Yes, sir. So year one cycle, we put it, uh, we pick, we will pick 1.8, but it will be negative. So this is 1.8 thousand, and that one will also be for six years. Yes. All right, then we take the residual value. The residual value for year one is 7.8. That is positive. So we put it here for this. And that one will also be for six, six years. So that, that. When we finish, we now sum them up to get our net cash flow here. All right. So our net cash flow, we sum them up. And then we have our net cash flow. So when we get our net cash flow, what then do we do? What do you think we do now? Uh, um, so do we calculate the discount factor? So we need to get all the cash flows. So when we have gotten all the cash flow for the cycles, then we discount them to their present value and we compare the rest. We compare all of them. You understand? Yes, sir. You can, as you have done it this way, you can go straight ahead, get the discount factor, and discount them. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So you sir. get the PV for year one. So here I can put my discount factor here. For example, so my discount factor, discount factor here. And discount factor is, uh, at ten percent, so I put it here. Then I will now will get my PV. So that's my PV. So that that's my cash flow. So I can do it this way. So all I do is that here I'll get. Uh, this one is equal to one divided by to bracket one dot one to the power um, zero. So that gives me one. Then I sum, I pull it down. So I get the same thing here and I get them into four decimal places. All right. So when I finish, I multiply them, the cash flows by their discount factor and that should give me this. All right. So I get my discount factor. I also run them to their decimal places. All right. So I now sum it up to get the PVs of cost. So that should be the total PV of cost. All right. So uh, PV of cost. So here is some of all the PVs here. So that gives me this figure. Are we fine? Yes. Hello, are we fine? Yes, sir. All right. So that is that. Then we now move, so this is the one by six cycle. Hey, and we now move to the next cycle, which is, so the next cycle is, we said the next cycle is what? Two by three. So two by three cycle. So here we're looking at 
two by three, two by three. Two by three. So two by three still we are going to have the time, which is time is here. So we get the same thing for this, which is six years. Okay, now the purchase price, how does it become? How many purchase price are we going to have? Purchase price. Yes. What this means is that every two years, the two by three means that every, every two years, the asset is replaced, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So every two years, the asset replaced, it means that it will start from year zero. So year zero is that. Then from year zero, you get to year two, isn't it? Okay. So you got one and two. So you have that one. Then you have one and two again. So you put it here. But the last year, that's year six. You, you don't have anything there because the asset will be disposed of, isn't it? Oh, okay. So that's it. So if the asset has two by three, it means that every two years the asset is replaced and therefore you're going to have three replacement cycles. So every two years, two by three means every two years the asset will be replaced. You are going to have three replacement cycles. Is that fine? Yes, sir. All right. So we now start with the um with the maintenance cost right so what that means is that every two years you are going to have um replacement meaning the maintenance cost will be one and two isn't it yes sir so one and two that means is that what that means is that uh, for year one the maintenance cost will be negative 1.8 for year two we are going to have negative 2.5 and that will be repeated so from here to there I want to have the same and then you are going to have the same here for the six years this is how it work then the residual value is the two years residual value which is this one so in this you have here, you have here, and you have here. So that will be three. All right. So these three, you now have your cash flow. So you sum them up. So when you sum them up, you get your net cash flow. All right. So this is your net cash flow. And this one, the discount factor, you will also have to determine the discount factor, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we determine the discount factor? One over one. Mm -hmm. So the discount factor, it will be what? So it will be one over one plus um, I raised to the power N. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to understand is that the discount factor you use for this year, year one uh, one by six cycle is the same discount factor you use for this and the same factor you are going to use by three for three by two cycle that's what i want you to understand oh okay so this is equals to this multiply by this and so you sum you do the same thing here and you get your figures then the pv of cost will be that so that's that so we are so we are done with the um two by three cycle then you now move to the next cycle which is um which is so here we are down with two by three cycle so we are, what we are dealing with here is three by two cycle three by two cycle. 
So three by two cycle, the time period would also be the same. Three by two cycle, time period will be the same. What this means, three by two means that every three years, every three years, the asset will be re replaced, isn't it? Yes, sir. So how many times will the asset be replaced? Three times. No. I said two times, sorry. Two times. Every three years you replace. Yes, so every three years. So see, two by three means that every two years the asset will be replaced. And that means that you are going to have three cycles. That's why it is two by three. So if you check, you see we have one, two, three. And this maintenance cost is also occurring three times. The receiving mm -hmm. value is also occurring three times. But if it is three by two, what that means is that every three years, the asset will replace. And the LCM is six. So if every three years, the asset will replace them, you are going to have two replacement cycles. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So here, we're going to have year zero and then year what, three, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Then we are going to have the running cost. Running cost will now be from year one to three, year one to three. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So what we do is that we go here and we have our year one to three here. So that will be for here. But we reduce them. And, but they are negative. So here is negative. Here is negative. Here is negative. So it will occur again. So this one should start from year one. All right. So you, this same force will also occur from here downwards. So that gives us six years. So this is how this one will be. Then we are going to have the residual value two of them. This is for the third year residual value of 4.5. So it is an inflow. So year three, you're going to have 4.5. And then year six, you are going to have 4.5. All right. So you sum up, you get your cash flows. That's your net cash flows. Then your discount factor will be the same. And then you multiply and you get your PVs. So that's Say. how it is. So when you multiply. Say. Yes, madam. Oh, okay, okay. Uh-huh. So when you multiply, you get your PVs. So this is it. All right. So you have to underline that. All right, so total of the cost will be here. Then we now have a sum of the cost. A sum of the cost, and that gives us um, 35,000, 35,000. So when you finish, it's the same thing that we have done here. So you come down here and you get your summary. So you get your summary and your decision. So you come here just like we did for that. So you have your summary and your decision. So summary here we are we are looking at LCM. LCM. So here we're having LCM. Then you have LCM. So here is one by six, one by six cycle. Here's one by six year cycle. Here is two by three cycles. And then here is three by two year cycle. Now the so here is LCM cost. So LCM cost. All right. All right. 
So here the first cost that we got was 55 million or 55,000 something, which is there. The second one we got was 40 something. And then the third one we got was this. All right. So this is the summary of the LCM method. Summary of LCM method. Now the decision as a replacement decision is that so the company as a replacement cycle should be also three years, which offers the lowest LCM. So LCM cost of 35, 269.72 million cities. So this is how the two methods are treated. So, so far we are looked at, as a replacement cycle, we are look at the decision, we look at the cash flows under as a replacement cycle. We look at the, the two methods, which is the um, equivalent annual cost method and also the lowest common multiple method. And we have determined the cash flow under each of them. And also having determined the cash flow under each of them, we did a summary of them. And then we arrive at the decision. We said that the decision to replace the asset should be the the decision to replace the asset should be the um, the decision to replace the asset should be the least cost under each of the models. So in this our example, for example, for one year uh, for one by six cycle. We have 55.3 million. For three by two cycle, we have 41.1 million. And then for three by two, okay, this is two by three, but this is three by two cycle. We have 35.6.2 uh, million. So on the whole, if the company has to replace its asset, the decision should be that it should go by two by three year cycle of replacement, which gives us a lowest cost of 35.2 million. All right. So on that vote, we bring our presentation on asset replacement cycle to a close and go willing, we shall meet at another time. Is there any question that I should answer? No, sir. All right. So on that note, we shall end here and God willing, we shall meet at another time. Have a okay. nice